bout of this 11th session of boxing at the semi-final stage. The judges are from Turkey, Latvia, Ireland, Hungary, and from France. The is now is from Germany, Oliver Kusmau. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we present for the red corner, representing Kazakhstan, Vasily Levy. And Jenny Tachenko is right number three. Vasily Levin is ranked number three in the world, the man from Kazakhstan, making his fourth world championship appearance here. The reigning Olympic silver medalist from Rio last summer. He took his third senior Asian title. Representing Kerba and Landis Savon is the reigning world championship silver medalist from Doha two years ago. He too took the third American continental title to Houston Gal for Honduras, ranked number two in the world in the tournament number two seed, and he is preparing to lock horns for the third time against this man, Vasily Levin from Kazakhstan. Such a formidable operator is the 29-year-old unanimous point decision winner over the man from Australia at the quarter-final stage. With Eris Landis Devon with his familiar pop over the top rope. Produced a third round stoppage over England's Siobhan Clark, the tournament number seven seed in European Championship silver medalist. Stopped with five seconds to go in the third and final round of that quarter-final. And that was the first contest of the tournament for Clark after having a bye in the first preliminary round and then a walkover victory over the man from Angola in the second preliminary round. So not the best preparation to face a fighter of this stature. And these two men, the rivalry deadlocked at one win apiece so far. Here we are again. Let's see who will go through to the gold medal bat. So we're underway then. It's 91 kilogram heavyweight semi-final between men from Kazakhstan and Cuba. The boxer wearing red with Vasily Levit, the reigning Olympic silver medalist from Rio last summer. Many observers thought he was desperately unlucky not to have his hand raised in that gold medal bout. He's a world rank number three. He's a tournament number three seed. And the man who is having success with his left jab to begin this contest is the number two ranked boxer in the world in tournament number two seed. He's the reigning world championship silver medalist. And he lost to Vasily Levitt at the Olympic semi-final stage in Rio last summer. The surname sounds familiar. That's because he's the nephew of the legendary three-time Olympic champion Felix Savon. He was named one of the inaugural Aiba boxing legends at Aiba's 70th anniversary gala dinner in Lausanne last winter. And this one promises to be an absolutely fascinating affair between two incredibly experienced, talented operators. I think Levitt here, his tactics have got to be with the, with the feet, fast feet in. And he's got to try and target the mid-range work. Definitely look closer to Savon. If you, if you allow Savon to get into a rhythm and box behind that jab, mid to long range, this Cuban, like all the Cubans, is uh, uh, very talented indeed. But if you allow him to, to box at mid and long range, he's going to win the contest. So Levitt, he's going to get on, the, on his front foot here. He's going to avoid that jab for a start off. He's going to get up closer and really drag Savon in into the short and mid-range areas. And that's what Levitt's got to do. He's going to get round those long arms of his opponent. These men competing in their first World Boxing Championship. Good left jab from Levin. Their debuts were back in Milan 2009. Of course, still in effect there, of course. Savon used to compete in the 91 kilogram plus super heavyweight division. He was Anthony Joshua's first opponent at London 2012. Very competitive encounter indeed. Deceiving the long arms, hasn't he, Savon? 
Levitt is finding that out, isn't he? He's keep being picked off with the jab. He thinks he's out of punching range. All of a sudden, the punch comes from the chest area, and sometimes the waist of Savon. That jab is very sharp, fast, accurate. It just keeps Levitt at bay. That's better from Levitt with his feet. He's going to find a bit of space on the inside when he steps on that gas a little bit. And Savon. Mid and long range, he's the one who's in control. The left hook attempt it was almost countered by a right hand from Savon, but neither man found the range in that closing exchange. Second half of the round. Someone, if anything, probably did, did the better work at range. So that for a long jab there. And probably nicked the round. There's not a lot in it. So Levitt certainly came back into it towards the end of the round. But it's been a long range there. You see, there's just a demonstration of, of how good Savon is. When you allow him to box there, look, he's in, he's out. There's a big gap between himself and his opponents. And he scores. Second round there. Which landed Savon a unanimous point decision winner. But Ramazan is in the frame in the second round there round before the aforementioned stoppage win over Siobhan Clark. That's the 11. She's used her physical assault against the man from Brazil, Juan Gonçalves. The second preliminary round for the win, for the final win over Jason Watt from Australia. Targeting the right hand, Savon himself square on the ropes, just ties his man up. Savon still pecking and poking behind that long left. Levitt moving effectively from the waist to make the shot miss. Lead left hook was again short by some distance. At the moment, there's nothing actually from Levitt that's, that's landing. He's coming forward, but I think Savon is controlling things very well at distance behind the jab. We know that the judges like this front foot boxing. We've got to hit the target at the same time, and uh, Levitt, for me, he's, he's not really caught Savon with a real clean shot. In the meantime, he was tagged by a long right cross from Savon, that just knocked him off balance momentarily before the clinch. play now Savon and that was a wonderful left jab that followed it again if you're allowed to settle in behind that punch well it can be a very long night indeed you keep being fed that knee handle of a left hand again we're well into the round and Levin's just realizing he's got to get up close he's got to do things differently he's got to quicken the feet up and then the problem he's got then once he gets on the inside he's got to create the space in the room to work He's got to try and avoid that jab. Savon, I think, is in control of range. Again, nothing's happening on the inside. Levitt should be doing more and doing better on the inside than what he is doing. And he's looking for that lead left hook to go over the low held right. There he tried it and there he did get through. Savon puts a hold on and then he lands a cuffing shot on the inside before the fighters get back to distance. So Savon dropping his hands now again, another. Right in crop of a left jab, cracked out into the face of Levitt. There's the same shot once again. Launching a right hand with Levitt, but then Savant used the ropes as a catapult and lands his own right hand. That was a cracking shot from Levitt, though, Ron. It really was. He, he was a bit wild there with that left hook. That was a great shot for, from Levitt, but, and he knows it as well. Look, he's on that front foot now. More urgency, so he, he's improved his accuracy in this round as Levitt. Good left hook as well. It's gone in from him earlier on in the round. Certainly I catch it. It's the industry again, the workman like display is from Savon. So Savon got caught with a couple of 
shots in this round. In this long left duck, just catches him. Launch from, from long range. Then he catches him with a lovely right hand. That's probably the best shot of the round for Levy. For me, anyway, two good clean punches, but in between that, he had some on. Again, mainly control the distance with the jab. So we're into the third and final round then. Heavyweight encounter between two familiar rivals. Into the Olympic semi-final encounter in Rio last summer. The previous encounter came in the final of WSB season five. And that's where Eris Landy Sabon got his win. Makes the rivalry stand at one victory apiece. They have a five round format without the best. Again, to launch that lead left hand is Levin. You know what, Ronnie? Right. It's, it's a bad shot to leave with. If it hits the target, it looks great. It looks spectacular. But if you miss leaving with the hook from long range like that, then you're totally out uh, of the uh, control in terms of position. Wise, you can almost spin round if anything, and you're so open to a right hand counter if you miss with that needle. One time, still the left jab that is climbing up the points. Counter right hand wasn't too far away from Savon. And everything those two right hands landed in round number two. One would have to say that Savon hasn't been made to be too uncomfortable. Try not lead left hand again, Levitt. As ever, trying a left hook to the body there, marauding forwards is Levitt. Bit of forearm on that right hook, that flash past the chin of Savon. Oh, lovely left jab once again from the man in blue. And he's a heavyweight, big boxer, of course, second heaviest athlete in Aibro in boxing as Savon scores with the right hand, but Ashley Levitt. Considerable target, shaven head presents. Yeah. Savon's been finding it regularly with the left hand. He's been picked off, doesn't he? Um, with that jab from Savon. One of has got to try and do is maybe work the body and, and the odd fake with the left jab to the body and try and look. There you go. I mean, he's, he's got away with it there, but he's totally missed the target with the left hook. It's a bad shot to throw if you miss. Just fell into his opponent. What we should be trying to do here, Ron? Levitt. The odd jab to the body and then fake the jab to the body and trying to whip the right hand over the top. But at this stage, I think Savon is just waiting for that right hand. With a puffing left hook on the break, that's why the referee is issuing firm admonishment in Levy's direction. Through shot, he helped himself to there. Closing stages of the third and final round. Again, it's another muscular marauding attack from the man in red, bobbing and weaving from the waist. Savon still trying to keep him at bay with a jab, looking to bring that backhand into play, whipped it through to the solar plexus, like a bolo punch. And not the tidiest of conclusions to this third and final round, but both men fighting furiously, and that is a nice moment of respect between these two familiar rivals, two of the very best in the world, competing over the three three-minute round distance. But Levis. Well, he was certainly outworked. And Savon just measured it repeatedly with the most basic shot in the book. Work from Savon with that jab, even in the final round, he got a bit scrappy, didn't he? I think Levitt was trying too much, trying too hard to land that lead left hook. Just skimmed the time there with the right hand. Maybe he had some success with the left hook. He landed it a couple of times earlier on in the contest. But probably tried it too often after that and, and missed repeatedly. This shot here just skimmed it, the target, didn't it? And Levitt. But it's the judges that matter, Ron. Championship final here, a split decision winner, 3-2 in favour of Savoni, edges, two fights to one ahead in this 
trilogy between two outstanding bosses of the Aiba Code. Vasily Levit comes away with World Championship bronze to add to his Olympic silver. It's the first World Championship medal for Vasily Levit. No doubt a frustrated figure at being fed those straight punches repeatedly, but I am sure that he will look back with immense pride at what he just accomplished here. But it's Eris Landy Sabon who goes through to contest World Championship gold once again. And for the second successive World Championships, he's facing off against Evgeny Tyshenko. Well, the Kazakhstan corner were very disappointed indeed. They thought their man had got it, but, but I disagree. I thought um, I thought Sabon had just nicked it, if anything. I knew it was going to be close, and it was all important. Those important judges, like I said, but I think justice was done there. I actually thought Sabon did enough to win that fight. I thought the last round, especially with the jab, Levitt didn't land didn't land clean enough, he huffed and he puffed and he threw a lot of punches, but he didn't hit the target enough for me, and I thought this man just got it. 